Okay, what we have here is our MG1 keyboard assembly, and we're going to check for continuity on the uh, on the contacts there. Just make sure that we have every key working because this has a monophonic section and pol uh, a polyphony section. You're going to have to check two buses. One there's one row on top that has uh, a resistor network across it, and there's one row in the bottom that is individually wired and what happens here is you're going to see these these yellow wires here that connect the bus bar all the way to the end and there's one two three four five and another five in the bottom and then they come out to this uh, wire these wires here which is a the top one is a, a white with a gray stripe and the bottom one is a white with a purple stripe and they correspond to this right here which is white with gray that is number eight and the white with the purple is number five so in order to do this you're going to need a, uh, a digital or a multimeter actually just any type of continuity tester so set it to continuity so we have to make sure we have that and that is set for continuity right now. So anytime that we touch the leads together, it will beep. Actually, let's set it up the right way. This is the continuity button. You've got to set it right there. Okay. Sorry about that. We're looking through the camera. Okay, so what'll happen is that we have it anytime it touches. You know, and it's any contact will beep. So that'll be put over to the side. <clears throat> and we use our clamp and we just set it right over here. And that's going to be for the top row. And we're going to go individually to each and every key one at a time until we find a. Uh, a problem. If not, then we'll continue. This one seems a little slow, we might have to clean that. Maybe there's something stuck in it. Okay, so basically I have to cut through a little bit of the, the flux that's back here, but that's okay. Let's see what, it's kind of hard to see through the camera, so let's get back to this side. Okay. Okay, so we know that the, uh, the monophonic section is the case, so then what we'll do is we'll set this over to pin 5, and we'll check the bottom. We have Brownie who wants to get involved with this. Hi, Brownie.
brownie. Okay, so our A is not working. Oh, uh, maybe it is. Okay, so we've tested all of them, and they all seem to work okay. Uh, there's probably going to be a little bit of debris in there or dust, and uh, and just uh, playing with this has allowed Brownie to uh, figure out that I'm, I'm working on the keyboard again, and she's getting in the way and meowing and wants attention. So that's starter right there. Part now we know that this key this key bed is okay, and the next thing we'll do is remove the uh, corresponding, actually all of them, we're going to take all the divide down chips and we're going to be putting these little guys in there, these uh, machine uh, socket, um, IC socket uh, headers in there and uh, it's a 14 pin dip, we're going to put two in a row, it's a two of seven and it'll fit perfectly in there. I highly recommend you get a whole bunch of these and uh, and they'll, they're great for projects because when you can't find one or another you can always make your own so next step is to come over here and unsolder those and then solder those in 